Hello and welcome to another episode of Freaky Fettuccini. On tonight's episode, we've got a double feature. Let's see if the reverse clickbait will make you watch. Don't watch! Please! My sister loves Spongebob, but it was summer, and this summer no episode came on. Um, why would Nickelodeon not air their biggest cash cow in the summer? I wanna watch Spongebob! She screamed. But it's summer! I yelled, as if that was an argument against watching Spongebob. I want to watch Spongebob! She screamed again, punching my leg. I searched on YouTube, but I didn't find anything. <laughs> How bad at YouTube and Google searching do you need to be to not find an episode of Spongebob Squarepants? I emailed my boss at work. Uh, what? <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry to bother you during the summer off work hours, but my sister punched me in the leg and wants to watch Spongebob and I can't find a single episode. Can you help me out? And he linked me to one YouTube video, so I clicked on it. The screen started black for 10 seconds, and then a crack and glass breaking sounds came on. The video told me not to watch it. This was definitely not a normal Spongebob episode. But then the crying scene from Grandma's Kisses came up, and blood red letters were across the screen. I am sorry, but I will need to commit suicide. Why do you live? Then a picture of a gravestone saying R.I.P. Spongebob came up. I instantly got scared. The screen turned black once more. I told you not to watch! The dead spirit of Spongebob Squarepants will stalk you and murder you! I told you not to watch! The video stopped. I sat there in silence. Two weeks later, a man was found dead. He had a younger sister who adored Spongebob Squarepants. According to some people, he watched a video on YouTube two weeks before his death. <laughs> that, that was an important detail we needed to put in here. The cause was unknown. <laughs> So, um, because this man is terrible at looking up YouTube and placating his younger bratty sister, he emailed his boss and the boss is like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send him the death Spongebob video. That'll show him for emailing me. But perhaps there's more of an explanation needed as to why Spongebob will stalk and kill you. I doubt we're ever going to get one, but we'll come as close as we can in Evil Spongebob. The video game. Everyone used to know SpongeBob SquarePants as a happy slash irritating slash annoying gay little sea sponge who lived in a pineapple under the sea. But now he's gone insane because of a recent nuclear plant explosion. <laughs> okay, there's my <laughs> explanation, I guess. <laughs> because of a recent nuclear plant explosion. SpongeBob has been infected with a severe disease called Hanalosis, thirsty for blood and hungry for human flesh. This terrifying little monster now roams the streets day and night prowling for one thing to devour, human flesh and blood. Now it's up to you and a bunch of inexperienced gunners who will eventually die throughout the game thanks to SpongeBob, except you survive at the end, find SpongeBob and kill him. Uh, wait, wait, what? Uh, um, okay, there's, there's quote marks at this next paragraph. There was nothing we could do. He laughed and killed Mr. Krabs. As he kept laughing, he stabbed old man Jenkins in the stomach, then cut open a hole in his chest and stuffed it with coral. Then he laughed some more. Then he took out a firearm gun out of his pocket and shot all the innocent people in the head, spreading brains and guts everywhere. Guts are in the gut, brains are in the head, silly billy. Then Squid Word tried to end this reign of terror. But before he could go grab his clarinet, that sponge piece of shit ripped his large dangly nose off and stuffed it down his throat and choked to death. Wait, you're missing a he. Does that mean SpongeBob choked to death after shoving the nose down his throat? Still, SpongeBob kept on laughing as he continued to kill everyone in his sight for no reason. This has brought fucking hell and torture to Bikini Bottom. 
I dare not speak more of the actions this Hellraiser has done, but the rest is far too terrifyingly psychologically damaging to be described in words. I'm, I got lazy after like three deaths. Uh, sue me. Kill Spongebob. The fate of the lives of Bikini Bottom is in your hands. The evil menace, Spongebob Square Pants, must be stopped at any cost, even if it has to include, quote, killing Spongebob Square Pants. Just 66 payments of 666 to Satansoft.com. We branched out into video games. <laughs> okay, um... Don't let Spongebob get near nuclear plant explosions, otherwise he'll die, but not die, but also be dead, but you've gotta kill him. That's how it works. Sorry, I can't explain it, I just- I just am warning you to not let that happen, because otherwise, you won't be able to find Spongebob on YouTube anymore! <laughs>